website, fivestarsoap.com. Thank you. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We are now into hour number two. Masses of key news and information on the military, on the police state, on the economy, on U.N. takeovers of domestic operations here in the U.S. You think the feds are federalizing your local communities. What about the globalists internationalizing our federal government? And it's dictatorial and authoritative and uh, completely eugenics-based. But I wanted to finish up with my discussion with Eric. If you just joined us, he was saying, I've heard homogenization is bad with milk. Well, yeah, it's not even really milk. It's boiled milk. It's kind of like if you churn milk, you get butter. It's not milk, it's butter. Or if you let milk sour, it's not milk, uh, it's yogurt or it's buttermilk. They change it. It's, uh, for the last 60, 70 years as they phased it in, we haven't been getting real milk. And every major medical doctor out there that's looked at it has said that natural, healthy, fresh milk has its own antibiotics in it. it it's alive. It's got healthy bacteria. Uh, it's got, uh, you know, uh, just all sorts of key nutrients, and they destroy it by boiling it. And big agribusiness wanted to shut down all the small dairies and force everybody to buy their homogenized stuff where these bloated cows with their bloated udders can be given all these drugs, and it's full of blood and pus and everything else. And then the caller said, so, okay, I can't get real milk. And I didn't really correct him because I was busy ranting. It's hard to get real milk because it was becoming so popular again and legal and lawful that they've nickel and dimed and harassed and SWAT team people. And most states have laws. Well, if, it's, if you're part of a private club, this is real popular in Austin and surrounding areas. People have dairy cows. They're really healthy. And, and, if, and if a little bit of cow manure gets in there, you got to flush and dump the whole batch. So they're in there. It's very clean. The cows aren't on drugs. They've got to make it clean. Because if they make you sick, they're then liable. But 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 instead, they just give you rotten milk that's been boiled. And so they're trying to stop you. But the answer is they try to stop you from getting organic, buy nothing but organic. They try to stop you from labeling uh, GMOs as the feds are doing. It's still private companies can tell you it's non-GMO. You've got to vote with your dollars now. We're really winning a lot of victories against this. That's why they're coming in trying to really bum rush us and overwhelm us because they're starting to lose. So, yes, uh, you were calling from New York. I'll guarantee you, you can find fresh, raw milk. And then you can look on uh, Angie's List and Craig's List and different consumer rating areas and find out who's got the best and freshest. But the minute they were to, besides, let's say they sold you some bad milk, which I've never heard of because they're held to a higher standard. It would be sour. You would know it was bad. What do you think sour milk is? It's yogurt. I mean, this is ridiculous. All right, I'm I'm ranting. Let's talk to John in Illinois. John, you're on the air. Hey, Alex, how are you? Good, buddy. What's up? Wow. I've been listening to you way before PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars, and I just want to say God bless you. I've been praying for you and your family and your safety. So you've been listening 15 years because InfoWars yeah, is over 13. 15, I've only, I don't mean to uh, overstep you there, but I just, I've been a first-time caller, so I'm kind of nervous. Um, I thank you for your research and your life and your time with everything you've been doing. I'm a Christian up in Illinois, plus I'm an artist, so it's kind of anathema because I'm with a lot of secular people in Chicago. Let me tell you something what's going on. Um, visually, immigration, one, number one, I've seen my neighborhood in one of my towns here in seven years quadruple, quadruple, because I'm an artist, I'm very detailed, I notice everything, um, quadruple in front of me in six years. Uh, prices have gone up about 280%. Everywhere across the board. Stay there. Stay there and recap it and go through your report when we've got time on the other side, John. 
Uh, we, we have the numbers. More than half the people in L.A. County Jail are illegal aliens committing hardcore crimes. Uh, we know the states are going bankrupt. We know. And, and then you get Ob Obama's aunt saying, look, I'm illegal. I get, I get three welfare checks. You owe it to me. Sit down and shut up, sucker. We'll be right back. Stay there, John. Then Brian, Steve, Ed, Mike, and others. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Remember when I said you spell freedom, F-O-O-D? It's really true. Legislation is in the process of restricting the growing and sharing of food. And a record number of Americans, over 43 million, depend on the government to feed themselves. Food prices are going up for Americans. Prices are going up, even for eFoodsDirect.com. This will require their first price increase in three years. The most important thing Americans can do for their own freedom and survival in these hardest of times is to get supplies of high-quality storable food. Because of the huge response to this buy three and get one free special, eFoodsDirect.com will continue this special until September 27th. Right now, you can buy three and get one free at the old prices. But move fast, because this offer ends September 27th. Call 1-800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. That's 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Okay, we're taking your phone calls coming up at the bottom of the hour. Big news blitz and then more calls. In the third hour, we have former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson. He's really... Going public right now, speaking about the police state that's unfolding here in the United States. So he'll be joining us. Uh, but right now, going back to John in Illinois, he's saying that in the town he lives in, he's seen the effects of illegal immigration. Uh, please continue and recap what you were saying, John. Yeah, Alex. Um, where I live up here in Illinois, um, I, I literally couldn't help it. I have a shop in the studio, and I'm an artist. I'm actually surviving still in this economy. And my prices have dropped 35 to 60 percent, depending on the work, within two years. Um, I've seen so much as a business owner slash now unemployed um, happen to the blue collar, I will say this, white Caucasian uh, middle class, lower middle class uh, population. Uh, there must be, within a subdivision of 500 homes, I bet you there's 220 of them foreclosed. And a hundred of them are probably makeshift, uh, you know, what I call junkie houses. But um, the population, uh, the Im I get the immigrants, it blew me away. I first learned when I went to an emergency room by the house, 
how I, I, I had to show proof of identification insurance, and I would say 60% of the people in there waiting were minorities that didn't have any ID. I thought it was, for a long time, I didn't want to see it. And this is unspoken, my, unspoken discrimination. Uh, I've told the story when my finger was hacked off, and I had insurance, and they said, you just go sit and wait, and any legals, no ID. It was, it was like they were God. And, and the government tells them, hey, you're owed this, just like Obama's aunt said. She said, I get everything free. That's the way it is, and you owe it all to me. I came illegally, and I'm on three forms of welfare. And it's so incredible. But for those that just joined us, go over the numbers again of how much bigger your town's gotten. Within six years, so it takes us back to 2004, I had a car accident, so I had a lot of time in my hands also to look around. Um, I have to tell you, I counted the houses that sold from white people to minorities. Um, not that I'm prejudiced, it's just that's how we got to describe it. Um, literally quadrupled, if not, I don't know what you call hexcoupled or whatever. Um, literally four families, three families to a home. My eyes don't lie. You know, things don't lie in front of my face. I'm a very detailed That's person. another thing. The zoning groups only go after citizens, uh, and whether they're black, white, Hispanic, it doesn't matter, and then allow the illegals, whether they're Eastern European, African, Asian, or Latin American predominantly, to do whatever they want. And I know major apartment managers, two different ones, who've been told, you let the illegals have as many people as they want. The federal government is giving us funds. We are now partially tax exempt, but we've been told by the feds, help the illegals. And then I have an AP article where, what was it, four years ago, where uh, banking heads of major banks said, yes, we give housing loans to illegals that we don't give to citizens. You go to Bank of America, Wells Fargo, all they got to show is a consular matricula that you can literally get out of a Cracker Jack box. And they're give, but citizens are run to the ringer. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a student loan, and I have been deferring it because of unemployment. And uh, it's very, very high. <laughs> I mean, it's just cost is like you can buy a Corvette with what I owe. Um, Six bankers exchanged hands and rebought my loan over and over again and dropped all the benefits I had from the Stanford loans. And I'm literally under the thumb when I was above the thumb within the last two and a half years. And by the way, that's fraud. Are. Just like J.P. Morgan's now been found guilty of repossessing houses they didn't even own or houses that people did owe. They were just cheating them. Uh, when they do that, depending on which loan you look at with the student loans, but I've read the reports on it, they're not allowed to take your benefits that were built into that away. But they just do it. They just do it. I mean, they're not supposed to take six million dead and dying veterans benefits, but they're just taking it. They're just doing it. Because if you're an American, you've got a big crosshair on you that says open season. They added a, they added a quarter percent, three quarter percent more interest rate where I actually brought it down on a payment program. They actually added it to both sides of the loan. See, I have two loans and one loan's not interest and one loan's is. And they well, I mean, you got to do what the illegals do. Just walk away from it all. They're now illegally coast to coast putting people in jail for unpaid debts. Uh, but that's being overturned in court. And, you know, the answer is walk away. The banks made it all up out of nothing. They take the interest money you give them and literally fund the destruction of the country. I mean, I mean, you may want to keep your credit. I'm not telling you what to do. I would walk away from that. Or I would sue them. I mean, you could find a lot of lawyers and law firms that if they violated the rules and your rights, you can go after them. I have one more thing. I just want to, I'm a gun owner, too. Um, I don't know if anyone's kept track of what's going on, because, you know, I live in Illinois. I think it's like the corrupt green machine. Um, oh, you'll have Lord you. Emanuel ruling you soon. <laughs> well, yeah, he will be soon. Yeah, Daly's out. Uh, he's retiring. Um, this is the one thing. I've been keeping track of my ammo. The ammunition a year, 12 months ago, for 2-2-LR was $0.02. Cents. It's now $0.08 cents on the average. Um, That's a quadrupling in prices. I'm telling you, it's they're getting it. They're gonna, they're gonna just, they're gonna find an economical way, the economy within the economy to get the guns. Is all I can say before an uprising happens, because they're just taxing me to death. And as an ex-business owner, if I pay taxes four times a year, and if I tell you, if my last name was Hernandez. Um, I, I would probably have not a problem, and that's kind of sad. Well, well, the globalists aren't going to stop till they bankrupt you, so let's not let them do it, John. Let's talk to Brian in California. Brian, you're on the air. Joe, 
Hey. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Uh, listen, I'd just like to thank you 